Dave, you're supposed to be cleaning my car. You're supposed to be filming me doing Olympic stuff. Well... <laughs> <laughs> We're filming YouTube. Piss off. <laughs> Tell those bloody scoundrels to piss off. We're filming YouTube. Ooh. Weightlifting. Cars. <laughs> Testosterone. Where's Donny gone? I can't see a thing. <laughs> you know you're disabled when the hardest thing is to get up off the floor. Can you put this in reverse, it'll look like I'm farting. Johnny, you know me, there's only like 148 odd tickets left for the ST500 now. What are you gonna do about it? Whoever wins a ticket gets a date with me. <laughs> now guys, due to popular demand, I have got the 2007 Mark II Focus ST500 that here on the GCM YouTube channel we have up for raffle. Next to obviously my 2006 Focus ST1, obviously that is very heavily modified, I figured I'd do a complete walk around, show the differences, run through what an ST500 is compared to that of the Focus ST1 here, and basically just explain a little bit more so that you guys have a little bit of context or a little of information to back you when you choose to go ahead and enter the raffle here on my YouTube channel. So where shall we start? That is the absolute question of the day. Now already, first off, this car is a lot lower than mine. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but you can see how mine sticks up. Obviously I'm on the BC Racing callovers and I don't know which springs they are, but I'm pretty sure they're lowered 25 mil or 20 mil all round. But it does look pretty good. I've had a couple comments already saying that this one is a lot lower than mine. But obviously with the coilovers that I've got and a few of the other mods, it's absolutely fine. Obviously as well, we've got 18 inch standard Focus ST wheels and I've got the 19 inch Focus RS wheel. So that's gonna make a huge difference. So yeah, first point, obviously it is lowered. So that's something you can tick off the list straight away. Guys, we've got some red painted calipers as well. They could do with a little bit of engine and clutch cleaner. Obviously get all of the brake dust off, but they can be cleaned up pretty easily. Uh, it looks like it's running discs with plenty of life on them and yeah the pads also have plenty of life on them too now guys as you can see the focus st500 does look that little bit different to my mark ii focus st1 now guys i don't know if you can see you've got the decal running across the side of the car there whereas we don't have one here on the st1 on the st500 as well you will have the st500 sign on the back whereas irrelevant to mine being debadged there would have just been a regular st logo on the back of mine now if i just unlock the car like so. Now guys, with the Focus ST500, the standard black leather Recaros that would have been in the Focus ST3 have now been replaced with these red ones. They do look really cool. They're super comfy to those of you that haven't sat in them. And there's also a couple more features inside that you might like to see that are personal. So here you have the little emblem thing that says here, Focus ST500, limited edition one of 500. And you also have the optional extra which comes standard as far as I'm aware in the ST500. Let me know if I'm wrong, or well, this might have just been an optional extra for the ST500 anyway. I'm pretty sure they were pretty expensive when they first came out. But there's also things like ESP and traction control down there, which no doubt on this lens, you can't even see. Now guys, as you can see, comparing the front end on both the ST1 and the ST500, because this is the ST1, not only do I not have the lights that this has, I'm pretty sure they're HIDs. If not, they're just really good lights compared to the ones that I've got. I've since custom mine with some halos and some sequential lights and various other things. But what you will notice, besides to my lack appeal, is that I don't have the washer jets that the ST3 comes with here on the ST500. Now guys, one of the things you will notice as well is the engine bay is completely standard. We've got the standard airbox. All of that's all still there. All the battery covers and everything is the same. Engine covers untouched and we also still have the Symposer, which as you can see on mine has been completely deleted. So what I'll do, I'll just hover over the engine bay of mine now so that you can see the difference. Strut brace, ECU holder, Pro Ram air induction kit, obviously intercooler stuff, hello horns and a bunch of other things that I'm probably not picking up on. But compare it to here, as you can see, 
it is completely standard. Now guys, as you can see, the slam panel also has the single air feed, standard air box. We've got the Symposer as well. Everything just looks pretty standard, which in this sense is a good thing because this is the ST500 and it's only gonna go up in value. Now you can see here that the insulation inside the bonnet's still there as well. Now obviously that takes away from noise in the cabin as well. But as you can see, in mine, I've not only wrapped it with gold heat tape, but I've also taken off the insulation as well for more induction noise. Obviously you can do that yourself, but yeah, it just goes to show how standard this thing is. Now guys, with the ST500 as well, obviously there were 500 made, but in this particular instance, it's the five door. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure there's 173 of them made. So a five door is a little bit rare. All of my Australian viewers that have the ST, which they call the XR5, they have the five doors. And I guess they get quite jealous that we have, I suppose in a way, the hatchback three door type style. As you can see, red leather Recaros in the front and red leather seats here in the back too. Now you will also find that the door cards are leather too. You can see them here in the back and you can also see the leather door cards here in the front. Now, of course you guys care about the paintwork and I will be brutally honest, black is an incredibly difficult car to clean, but completely to my surprise, the paint job on this is exceptional. There is no lack of peel. The roof is in good condition. There's no scratches at all that I can see. Now this thing has been recently polished. Now as a result, the car is in fantastic condition. Guys, the paint on both of these Panther Black STs is looking fantastic, but now we've looked on the outside, why don't we look on the inside and go and find out what is going on, not only with the mileage, but the service history. But before we do that, let's take a look under here and see what we're dealing with exhaust wise. Now you guys can make of this what you choose. I don't know exactly what the system is, but the tips do have Miltec written on them. Now guys, as you can see, it's on lowering springs and there isn't a huge amount of rust, pretty much the same as mine. Now this exhaust system, it's got Miltec on the tips at the top. So I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's certainly not standard. Now guys, obviously we need to jump in the glove box and find out what service history we've got and various MOT history, because that's obviously super important when picking up a car. Obviously in this instance, you know, you'd only be paying 20 pound for a car. It wouldn't be as important to yourself compared to that as if you were paying say like five, six, 10, 20, 30,000 pound on a car. Obviously in this particular instance, I just thought I'd be courteous to you guys and show you what we're dealing with. Funny enough guys, the first thing that I've picked up is actually the receipt for the window tinting. So that's one thing to mention the entire rear of the car. So basically every window except the front and the windscreen have been tinted. So I'll put that one aside just for the time being. These are some papers back from 2007, the registration date. Now guys, this paper here is just talking about the inner CV boot being replaced, passing its MOT, and a particular clip has been replaced. So this particular one is nothing too exciting. Now guys, as the advert said, we have a 12 month MOT, but this is the MOT certificate previous to when we got it done here before we posted it live as the raffle. But yeah, these are just some receipts, obviously. Um, Temp gauge shown warm, fixed, idle test, perfect, CO2, Lambda sensor, all passing, engine speed, revometer, test, everything done, um, CO2 test, pass, everything, that's okay. So I don't need to worry about that one too much. So guys, they've done all the belts, timing and cam belt. They've replaced the oil on this one. It says here, belt timing, water pump repair, um, an element oil cooler, washer fluid, cap and wheel hub replaced. Oh, I don't need to check that because I can't find the date anyway. What's this? This is a, a value servicing, vehicle servicing paper, more stuff to go with the V5 and another receipt. Now those are the actual papers that are included with the car. Now I'll put those ones to the side. And if I go to the Focus Owner's Handbook, I don't think that's the service one, is it? Owner's Handbook and Service Portfolio, because that's what we care about. So, we've got loads of stamps. So you can see here, guys, they've got loads and loads of stamps. And they've got, oh, they've got a couple here too. So yeah, how many are we dealing with? Uh, let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 2007 car. So yeah, it's got full service history. So that's fantastic. The service book is full. Obviously guys, things like this are important because if you choose to sell a car, you know, if you were to win this car and you didn't want to keep it and you wanted to sell it, service history is vital for adding value to your future sale. Not many people are gonna to wanna to pay full price for a car that hasn't got good service history. But like I said, guys, to clarify, this does have full service history. Um, no, this is actually just with the, the fuel economy list from Ford, which is quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, you don't buy one of these cars to have fuel economy, I'll tell you that much. So guys, let's jump in the driver's seat now. And I'll show you a few of the things that we have inside the cockpit of a Mark II Focus ST500. But let me get in here without dinting my door. 
Okay, so what do we start with? The mileage, 111,226. Now, in my opinion, guys, I did think that you would jump up and say, oh, that's a lot of miles for a car. But let's be honest, not only is this car only costing you 20 pounds, they are appreciating, it is standard, and it has been looked after. These cars will be good for over 200,000 miles. So just bear that in mind, guys. I don't think financially I would have been in a position to raffle off a version of this car that was super low mileage. I just don't have that kind of money. Guys, you've got the Sony sound system here. It's really, really nice. Obviously, you can look at upgrading it if you choose to. The fascia just comes out. Stereo goes out, and you can get a double in there, just like I have on mine. Obviously, we've got the standard gear shifter, little glove box thing right here with some tissues and a pen. There's no storage on this one, guys. It's more of like a, a storage thing on here, but obviously you can choose to upgrade it just like I have with mine, so that this will not only become leather, but it will also slide forward and back to make it a little bit easier for resting your arms on when on long drives. No doubt you probably can't see very much, but we have a little boost gauge up here that shows you a few things. We've got boost pressure, We've got oil pressure and we have also got engine temperature, what it looks like. And we've got the heated seat options here, windscreen heater, um, I guess another windscreen heater. I don't even know what half of these mean because I don't have them in my ST1, my poverty spec ST over here. But yeah, we've got ESP as well. You've got auto lights, side lights, full beam. And then we've got the auto as well. We've also got fog lights, as you can imagine, you just pull it out like so. Now guys, funnily enough, there is actually a secret mode in this car, which I don't actually know how to use right away, but it basically brings up on the trip computer an option for you to change the steering wheel from hard, stiff, and sporty, just to make it a little bit nicer when you're cruising around, thrashing them B roads. We've obviously got the sun visor here with a mirror. That one's got no light on it, but as you can see, the lights are separate to that up here. They all work, so that's fantastic. I don't know if you guys need to see but this is what it looks like in the back. Got a parcel shelf in the back in case you want to do speakers or anything of the sort. But yeah, guys, these leather seats are super comfy. They're in really good condition. With seats like this, obviously you could repair stuff like this with some leather cream and you can sort that out, but it'd be a little project for yourself. A car like this is 2007. You're never gonna find perfect Recaros without paying a good thousand pounds for them. They've also got lumbar support as well. You can adjust all of that in there, so that's super cool. So let's get this car started up. She sounds so good. She starts better than mine, to be fair, I must be honest. So the bonnet's open, we know about that. I just thought I'd run through a few of these settings here, which is not gonna let me do, no doubt, because the bonnet is open. Outside air temperature, 22.5. Average speed, 29 mile an hour. I don't have that on mine, that's cool. Average fuel, 15 mpg. Yeah, that's uh, because it's been driving around town. That's pretty normal, guys, one of these cars. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. You can rev it as well without pissing off all the neighbors. Now, guys, if this car is an inspiration, this one should be. This is an appreciating asset. It's one of 500. It's limited edition. Please jump onto this. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know that the Focus ST500 is actually already live. So when I made the video basically revealing it to you, I wasn't aware that I had set the schedule for the actual giveaway thing to go live so early. So yeah, a couple of tickets have sold. There were 275 in total, and I'm pretty sure 130 have sold so far, guys. You need to jump on this as soon as possible. I will put the link for the giveaway on the Focus ST500 in the description section below. So all you need to do is go underneath the video and click on that link and cop yourself a Focus ST500 that will only cost you 20 pounds. Compared to other giveaways, there is a big chance that you can win this car. There isn't thousands of tickets. It ups the odds big time. Please jump on this. It's a Focus ST500, it's limited edition. It's it's appreciating. This will be a garage queen if you want it to, or it will be an absolute B-road beast if that's something you're after as well. So guys, if you've been watching my channel and you know that a car like this is up your street, please jump on this as fast as possible. Hey Stace. Funny enough guys, one of my neighbors has just walked behind the camera now and has pointed out at the car. Obviously that is so standard to the extent that she's actually noticed and said it doesn't look anything like yours, but it goes to show one of my neighbors that has got zero interest in these kind of cars has already expressed interest in purchasing these tickets. So it's important for you to jump on that link in the description section below and cop yourself an ST. So no disrespect to Stacy. So someone that doesn't like STs doesn't win because let's be honest guys, you guys are here for a reason. You love these kind of cars. So if you want to win yourself a limited edition, one of 500, one of 170, five door Focus ST 500s or XR5 turbos that you guys would call it in Australia, jump on it. Now, regarding the Australia comment, that's something I wanted to address. Anyone in any country can jump on this. 
I don't know why I'm pointing at the taxi. It's sort of the car's that way, but that's okay. So going back to my original point. Now guys, obviously it wouldn't be ideal if someone out of the UK were to win this car because obviously it'd be awesome for me to deliver it to one of you guys, the viewers for, you know, only 20 quid. But in the instance that some of you guys outside of the UK decide to jump on this too, what we can do is the following. Let's assume Joe Bloggs from Australia pays the 20 pound or the 26 Australian dollars or whatever it is to purchase a ticket for the Focus ST500. What we would do in that particular instance is, I could either make a series out of selling that car for you, providing you with all of the funds, and obviously as a result, I get a little bit of content, I can play with the car a little bit, which is great for me at the same time, but like I said, we're not doing any import charges, so you will basically have to enter knowing that if this car were to be something that you would win, you are obviously gonna to have to sell it or obviously finance getting it taken to your country yourself. So this car will basically be here in the UK, Anything you want to do with it, it's entirely up to you, but I'm just letting you know, you're all grown ups. If you choose to spend money on a car, knowing that it is in the UK, we're gonna to have to work something out different to that than if you were to be in the UK, picking up and having it delivered by me. Just looking pretty. Hey baby, welcome to the family. Guys, honestly, having a car that's as modified as this one makes you realize how amazing the STs are to drive, even standard. Getting in that car now and just driving it around to move it around for photos or to wash it or just to make video here for you guys, it's so different. It feels so nice and it doesn't feel so damn aggressive because this thing is pretty much, well, it pretty much is a track car now and a B-road basher. So the ST500 over there being standard really does make you appreciate just how awesome those cars were since they came out of the factory. Now, obviously it's 2007, it's a 13 year old car guys and that thing is still mint. Now guys, separate to all of this ST500 stuff, I just thought I'd say over the next couple of days, we have some absolutely mad things to come. I'm just so excited. Now guys, tomorrow I'm actually traveling all the way up to North Wales to go and do some bits with BD Performance. We're going to be doing a block mod video. We're gonna be doing a full service, potentially an oil breather kit, catch can and oil filter housing replacement. And I think we're also gonna do a tune on the last day. Now we were supposed to be having Adam Ivel, Matt Armstrong, Lee Lockwood and that lot down for the weekend. But unfortunately guys, plans have uh, gone to pot, which is a shame because I was gonna to have to rush down to go and see them, which would have been well worth it. But I suppose on the brighter side, it just means I've got a little bit more time with BD Performance and the boys to get some sick content done. So I'm super excited. They've also said they've got a fully forged 400 brake ST with a hybrid turbo that I can drive and potentially a McLaren 720S. So guys, we're gonna have an amazing time over the next couple of days. Obviously I'm gonna bring you with me, but there's gonna be a bit of a break between now and the next video because I'm gonna be doing three back-to-back -back days of filming without a laptop. I've only got an iMac, so I'm gonna try my absolute best. Guys, I wanted to say thank you so much for all the support of recent. We've just hit 11,000 subscribers. I'm about to give away a Focus ST500 life is good guys thank you so much you're all amazing smash a like on the video if you haven't already don't forget to cop yourself one of the tickets for the raffle of the st500 let me know what you think in the comment section below consider subscribing if this kind of content is something that you would enjoy seeing in the future or if this kind of thing's up your street in general but guys as always what we're going to do now is we're going to leave you with the outro so as always gcm roll the outro <laughs>